Mellow's TV. Mellow's TV. Information, entertainment, analysis, and gossips. Be careful. We are everywhere. <laughs> Mellow Just TV. <laughs> Subscribe now on YouTube and get the vibes. Hi fam, it's your girl again, Melogis TV. Hope you guys are doing great. You guys remember the story we once we blocked about this um few weeks ago. This beautiful damsel here by name Karen Noles. She was a beautiful damsel, an entrepreneur, a video victim. She also owned a beauty parlor. So few days after launching her beauty parlor in Yaoundé. A mysterious thing happened to her and her life ended that same day from the first video we made if you are here and you are new to my channel you're welcome maybe you have not heard about the story I'm going to drop the links in the comment section on the description box so that you can always check on it and follow up on this news so Karen has been laid to rest today in their family compound in Bamenda she went out with some friends to eat that set day and after eating, she was not feeling good and her friends happened to put her in a taxi that the taxi should take her home. And on the way, the taxi driver noticed that she wasn't behaving good. So he noticed that she has peed on her body and she was vomiting. So the taxi driver rushed her to the nearest hospital in Biamasi where they were taking her to the hospital a few minutes later the doctors the nurses they tried their best but she did not survive so from what the taxi driver narrated that day it was that these friends came they brought her and they gave him ten thousand francs to take um, karen home and he never had any balance, any change to give them. So he told them the 10,000 francs was too much and he's not having change. So they say he should remove 2,500. He still complained that he was not having change. But the friends insisted that he should take Karen home. So that was what happened. That was when he carried her and then he later discovered that she was not doing well. So a lot of news came out after her death that she was poisoned. Others said no. She went and joined um, a strong house juju house that they gave her medicines there with money and there were a lot of conditions that was why after she opened her beauty parlor they started asking her for some things she could not provide that's why karen had to go all those were all speculations so her family even came out to debunk all those news to deny all those news on the internet and they said the doctors have done some autopsy on her and they discovered that it's like there are traces of poison in her so it's like these friends were the one who poisoned her so everybody was like waiting for an official statement because the matter too is that the police are also doing their investigations but to date the family has not come out to make any official statement of what happened to Karen. Neither has the police said anything about what happened to Karen. And today she's been buried. So we all end on the speculations. People were saying she was poisoned by those friends that she went out eat with to eat. So as you can see this beautiful damsel here, she's been laid to rest today in their family house in Bamenda. And that's what we have to say yeah because all we have all you have to say is rest in peace may she find rest she has left this beautiful world yeah we can say it's a beautiful world even though the world is so complicated with a lot of good and bad things a lot of ups and downs we pray she find rest wherever she is going to because nobody has come back to tell us what is happening. It is so painful to see an industrious lady like this go so soon. At her age, she was really so young. She was still in her 20s. That was so young with all what she has achieved. We pray that her family can really bear this great loss. Because it's not easy to raise a daughter from birth to this age. And then you just lost a daughter that way. Our families always pray. Our prayer is that our children should be the ones to bury us, not the other way around. When parents start burying their children, it really hurts a lot. A lot of speculations are still going out there. Like I told you before, I don't have anything to say much about that because we cannot conclude on what investigations are still taking place. We cannot conclude on anything. So far, the family has not said anything yet. 
we here on this platform cannot just jump into conclusion to say she was really poisoned or to say it was um juju house that she entered like um, some of her friends were saying on the voice note i played on the previous video about this same scene that she went somewhere took money to open the the beauty parlor that she opened that they saw some kind of juju in her in her room but her sister came out to deny the fact that there were no juju in her room that nobody has gone to her apartment since after her dismay that all what those friends are saying they hope when they are requestioned again they'll be ready to speak out to repeat the same thing that they have been saying that a few of them will have been called up by the police to come and repeat whatever they were saying they cannot repeat what they were saying so whatever we say on the internet we are allegedly saying there is no conclusion here that karen was poisoned by her friends or she was poisoned by somebody or she entered a juju house all we have to say is may she find rest may she find rest to the lord rest in peace karen rest in peace for those of us who are remain on earth be guided stay strong be prayerful and avoid some kind of gathering because you are not setting we are not setting if speculations are spreading it means there is a little truth in it we are not setting the way pay they now so person they only look at charge the charge change so people need to be very careful with their life these days sincerely So this was the update I brought since we vlogged about her when she passed away and we said a lot of things after we got information that today she was being removed and taken to her family residence for burial in Bamenda. I said I need to update you guys on this so that you guys should be aware of it. You guys know Melodies hardly knows too much. This is just part of the videos we have. Once we get more updates about her barrier and every other thing i shall still come here on the channel to update you guys about any new development of this but if you have more pictures and videos and you feel like you want to share with me you are free to contact me on facebook or on instagram or on tiktok i use the same name as melodies tv thank you guys so much for watching i sincerely appreciate your time even though this video is so sorrowful and painful but what can we do Soja go, soja come. Barak still remain the same as they did go and as so they did come. Another picking the door already born and today, and they have, they don't burn thousands and so many too. They don't still pass out today. That is a life for us these days. We need to accept that. Thank you guys so much. To my returning subscribers, kudos to you guys. Seven salute to you all. To all the YouTubers in the building, I appreciate your presence here. To all my followers, to those who have been watching our videos without subscribing, we beg on you to subscribe, to click on that subscription button. We know one day you will subscribe and that day will come. So if you are new here and you feel like what we are doing, you like it, you can click on that red subscription button. Turn on my post notification so that in case I'm uploading new videos, you will not be left out. You are going to get my notification. Hope I'm going to see you guys again on my new upload. I remain your girl, Melogis TV, with the latest gist and trending information on the internet. Come here and be blessed. See you guys. Bye-bye. Melogis TV. Melogis TV. Give me your number. Give me your number.